We are talking all things home inspection related in today's video. A home inspection is often done when you're buying a home as the purchaser. You will hire a home inspector to come out to the property and inspect it from top to bottom. Also, sometimes a seller will do this before they list their house and put it on the market so you get a clear picture of anything that may be uh, wrong or not up to code and you get those taken care of before you list the home. The reason we get a home inspection is that we want to know in detail what is the condition of the property, not just to our own naked eye where we're not trained to look for certain things, but we want to know the true condition of the home and make sure we understand what we're buying when we've gone under contract to buy a home. So in this very detailed report, and I mean it is really detailed, they are going to even uh, mention what the weather is at the time of the inspection and the temperature, whether it's raining, cloudy, sunny. We are peeling back the veil and taking a close look at the property. The home inspector is going to conduct a thorough inspection of the property from top to bottom. They're going to start off by noting the grounds, the lots and grounds. They're going to note the driveway if there are any cracks, things like that. They're going to go all around the exterior of the home. On the exterior, they're going to look at the siding, what type of material it is. They're going to see if there are any defects, anything notable, and they're going to mention those in a report. They're going to make note of any rotting wood, anything that seems out of place, anything that seems like it needs to be replaced. They're going to climb up and look at the roof. They're going to inspect that. They're going to walk it. Any good home inspector is going to be doing that. They're going to be on the ground level. They're going to be looking at the foundation for any signs of whether or not you should have that inspected by a foundation expert. And if there's a crawl space and it's accessible, they're going to get in there in one way or another, either themselves or by a, a machine, to get a look at what's going on underneath the home. They will also be looking at any garage, whether it's attached or not, and any carports. On the inside of the house, they're going to check the main components of the property. They are going to be taking a look at your electrical, your heating and air, your plumbing, including your water heater. They'll also be taking a look at your laundry area. If there is a stove, an oven there, they're going to check the functionality of that. They're going to take a look at a fireplace if there is one. And they're also going to go up into and look in the attic if there is one and it's accessible. We're not going to be present at the time of the inspection. We want to let that home inspector go in there and do what they need to do. They have a thorough checklist, a system that they need to stick to to stay on their time frame and also to make sure that they don't miss anything with the home. So we're not going to be there when a home inspection occurs. If we do want to go and talk to the home inspector in person, that's perfectly fine. You go there, they'll set up a time with you when they have completed the home inspection. It's usually, depending on the size of the home, anywhere from two to four hours for a home inspection. So at the end of the home inspection, that's when they'll have set up a time for you to meet them there and go over that report. You're going to be getting a full report by email from any good home inspector. You should have that within about 24 hours or less. This report is going to be anywhere from, I would say, 30 pages to over 100 pages long. Not necessarily something that you're going to want to print out, but you are going to want to take a good look at it. And in most cases, you will get a summary report along with the full report. And there's a lot of details in that summary that are very helpful, but I do recommend going over the entire report itself. The home inspection report is not a to-do list that we're going to then hand over to the seller and say, okay, this is what the home inspector found. Now I want you to change all these things about the home. It can be used as a negotiating tool to ask for some things to be done. But when we do look at the house and we're there making an offer on the property, we're going to be able to see certain things. And that is not something that we're going to ask to be repaired when we ask for repairs because that is something we saw and we knew about before we made the offer. What we want to focus on here is things that we didn't know or we couldn't have known about and we only found out through this home inspection report. For instance, if you make an offer on a house, you, in most cases, are going to assume that you have hot running water. So if it turns out in the home inspection report that the water heater is not working, 
that's not what you thought you were getting when you put an offer on the house. You thought you were getting a home where the water heater worked and you were going to have warm water to take showers and baths. So, of course, then in that case, I would ask for the seller to make good on this and repair or replace the water heater as needed when looked at by a professional. Now, there are some cases where there's going to be something that you did see that was visually going on with the property when you made the offer on the home will need to be taken care of before a closing can occur if you have an FHA or a VA loan. For instance, if you walk up to the house and you can plainly see that the trim has some peeling paint on it, that's something that will need to be taken care of, even though, yes, you could see it, but it needs to be taken care of or the loan will not process. Many times items found on an inspection report are things that we can take care of ourselves or get a handyman to do or put it on our to-do list to be done at, at some point, but they're not critical things that need to be taken care of prior to a closing taking place. So we're not going to use the inspection report as a list of items that we want completed by the seller. The home inspection report is for us as a buyer for information so that we know what we are purchasing. If there are major issues found, then yes, of course, I would address those in the buyer's response to the inspection, which is a form that we use here in Louisiana. It's important to know that the home inspector is trained to find things that are either not up to code or are in disrepair or are going to soon be in need of repair. Maybe they've outlived most of their usable life. They are not themselves experts on any one thing. They are not a roofer, a plumber, an electrician, anything like that. When they spot something, what they're going to do is recommend that it's evaluated by someone who is an expert, and then that person is going to give their opinion and say whether or not, yes, this does need correcting or replacement or not. So we're not going to defer back to the home inspector in these cases because they're the ones who told us we need to have this evaluated by a professional. So when we do that, then we go with the professional's input on that matter. When it comes time for you to get a home inspection, whether it's because you're a seller and you want to get ahead of the game and get a home inspection, or you're a buyer and you want to get that home inspection during your inspection and due diligence period, I highly recommend that you ask your real estate agent who they recommend as far as home inspectors because they do this day in and day out. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, we'll see you on the next video.